Our friend Flo has come to Bangkok to visit us. We are really happy about it. It's been more than three years that we haven't seen each other. Since the beginning of this adventure, she has been very supportive. She's always interested in what we're doing. So we are really excited that she has decided to come and join us for a little bit. We are lucky to have found her a bicycle. It's actually a very nice story. We met Christina in Bangkok and she had decided to leave her bicycle parked for some time. And she was kind enough to let our friend Flo her bicycle for some weeks. It's not gonna be physically challenging, uh, mainly because it will be flat and also because we're gonna take it easy with short cycling days. But uh, we wonder how she will handle the lack of comfort. For example, we don't organize way in advance where we will sleep. We see how the day goes and we decide in the afternoon where we will stay. So I think this part will be a very interesting experience for her. I still prefer my bicycle any day. It's a bit of a long story, but there's a road we can't cross. So we are walking on this uh, footpath, and it's very uh, yeah exciting, I suppose, the world. It's very adventurous. Apparently, Thailand's current king seems to have an inferiority complex and spends millions in posters of himself. It's uh, Flo's first day, so we're trying to be uh, super nice. We're taking a really quiet road like this one. It's, uh, it's crazy to find these kind of roads near Bangkok. We have the feeling that everyone is just on the main road and as soon as you take a little B1, there's no one there, which is good. It's, for us, it's great. And we're also trying to do a little bit of sightseeing while we can. There's uh, lots to see around Bangkok, so now we're just gonna go through a little, uh, well, uh, it's actually a pretty big Buddhist park. That's where we slept today, this unique place. But the best thing is that we've woken up and there's like flowers everywhere. Look at that. All around our, uh, all around our uh, bikes, there's flowers. But we don't know where they fell from because there's actually no flowers up in the trees. Because they are all on the floor. Maybe. Because they are what? All on the ground. Uh, okay. That could be the explanation, yeah.
What's up? Uh, there's uh, something weird. I don't know if I'm gonna go into Singapore. It's crossing. I get mono. It's gone. Yeah, I uh, I skated away with my testosterone. <laughs> we can continue now. No more excuses. to for uh, Flo, our friend. I think uh, she's a bit tired from yesterday, that's normal. Normally the second and the third day are the toughest because you're still getting used to being on a bike for a long time and also she actually started uh, in Bangkok which is not an easy place to start but today we are already outside of the city as you can see it's very rural, it's very nice. It's becoming easier and easier to find quiet roads like this one. And we're also seeing a lot of really nice things like uh, jackfruit and uh, coconut tree plantations. We also saw a lot of uh, uh, like flower, flowers. Was, uh, I think it's the first time that we saw uh, flowers being planted like that and yeah so far so good adventure We're in a town whose name I don't remember, uh, but it's famous for a floating market. So as you can imagine, all the houses are built on stilts and uh, we're looking for a guest house. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really interesting. I'm going to stop because it's actually, uh, it's actually a bit complicated to uh, cycle uh, using just one hand. Uh, on this because as you can see it's quite narrow and I don't want to fall it's actually a really 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 nice place it's really quiet and uh, tomorrow we're going to go to the floating market And as always, to avoid a big bridge, we're taking a ferry. This one is really cute. We've been seeing people with monkeys on their trucks for a few days now and uh, we've been wondering uh, if they just keep them as pets or uh, what the deal is with these monkeys and uh, I just had to stop because I just seen a man and uh, and we, we just we just got our answer actually 
So uh, I was intrigued because he's got a, a, a rope and uh, it doesn't look like it didn't look like an, uh, a safety rope. And then I realized that there's actually a monkey there. wanted to experience our way of living so we slept a lot at monasteries it's a nice place to stay for the night and you can have access to water so after a hot and sweaty day it's very rewarding We can also be in contact with the monks and this morning for example we said thank you and goodbye to one of them and we also had a little chat with him and when he found out that Flo is vegetarian he went like ha 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 no chicken but bicycle <laughs> There's a snake in the mouth of a monk <laughs> Theory is that it's after the water because now it's dry season and maybe you just want to take a bath. <laughs> we've traveled a lot, we've seen a lot of different things, and you know, just when you think you've seen it just about all, you uh, come across this. Now, what is this? 